Hi guys, welcome to my channel Beauty Med AC. In this video, I am going to do a first impression on the Stay Quirky Wipeout Makeup Remover. This is a towel kind of a remover which you have to wet with water and rub it across your face to remove makeup. It came wrapped inside a black packaging, similarly the one in the picture. Somehow I lost the packaging, inside it the towel was present. It is pink in color, not too dark pink, actually a very subtle pink. It is very very soft to touch with hands. It feels like you are touching a teddy bear. It feels the same way. The description on the purple app says it is suitable for lazy people who crash the bed with makeup on. You will just need water and this towel will remove makeup. I am very excited to see how it works because it will come very handy for lazy people like me. I have a bowl of water here, dipping the cloth into it, squeezing the excess water. Let's remove my eye makeup first. It feels soft. It removed my eyeshadow very quickly. It removed my mascara also. Half of my eyeliner is removed but still I have something left. A little bit of my eyeliner is left. Let's do it again. No matter how hard I press, the eyeliner is not getting removed. It is not that much visible on the camera, but in real life, the outer corner of the eyeliner is still visible and it is still not removed. This is really is so much of work. By the way, this is the Maybelline Drama Gel Eyeliner. Actually, it got dried out and I made it work by using a trick. Removing the kajal on my lower lash line. My kajal is also removed but it takes a lot of pressure and time to remove it. Excess towel rubbing left a fur on my face. You, The same thing that comes out of a teddy bear. The fur. At this point I am really really disappointed with this product. I don't want to use this product any further but just for the sake of the video I have to use it and review it. I am wearing a matte liquid lipstick. I am doubting if this would remove it. Pressing it against my lips. As usual it is not coming. Applying pressure and rubbing it. This matte lipstick would come off in a single swipe with micellar water or cleansing milk. And there's a fur on my lips too. How this product is going to support lazy people like me? Cleansing milk does a quick job than this. The fur was all over my lips and I could feel that. And you could see the fur on my eyelids as well. Finally, after long struggle, I removed my lipstick. I still could feel the fur sitting on my lips and trying to get into my mouth.
Let's please move on to the face makeup, dipping and squeezing it into water. It is doing a decent job on my foundation. And there you could see the first sitting on my face. Let me remove the makeup from the other side of my face and be right back. It is so much of work to remove makeup with this Take Worky Wipeout Remover. Now let's use a cleansing milk and check if the magic eraser has done a proper work. I have two cleansers here, both are from the same brand but with different flavours. One I bought it and the other I got it for free from the purple app. Today I am going to use the green tea cleansing milk, pumping a little bit, using a cotton wiping it across my eyes. Now I am going to apply on my old face and check. And there you could see the amount of foundation that the makeup removing cloth failed to remove. This is how the towel looks right now. Really messy. I don't recommend this at all. Just use some micellar water or cleansing milk and you're done. This is time consuming, does not remove the makeup completely. This may be suitable to remove very light makeup like a BB cream or CC cream, kajal and a satin lipstick. But not a matte lipstick or a gel eyeliner. It actually made me tired right now. Now I have to go and wash this and hang this to dry. I really don't recommend this product to you guys. Bye bye. Do subscribe to Beauty Pit Easy for more such videos. Thanks for watching.